if we set this up, so this is the back of the circle, this is the front of the circle, I'm throwing that direction. If I'm coming out of the back, I get to my 90, right here, basically I stop actively turning my foot, and it's just turning on its own now. I get to about here, and everything kind of stops rotating, and I start to sweep around, right? So at this point, this is what we're trying to get, right? This hip way out over this toe, so that it's here. They don't want to fall on the inside of the foot like that, that's bad. But still, keep working on the inside. So, so I'm here, this position, okay? So I'm still keeping my right foot, remember the right foot wants to stay on the ground as long as possible, but once it comes through, it's going to be here. So I'm working to keep this back foot in my head on the back line of the circle, and my hips are being yanked to the middle of the circle, okay? So if somebody has a rope, they're still pulling it to the middle. So everything is way out like this. So all we want to see here is set it up like this so that you're hanging on the fence and it's a push, push with the left foot and a pull with the right foot. So you feel you're digging in with the toes this direction. So I'm trying to get this way here and by this right foot sweeping wide, that's what's going to get me to the middle of the circle, right? So it's going to be here. So my, my left hand stays facing the direction of the throw, and I'm pushing while I pull with the knee, the inside of the leg, and once I enter flight phase, my back foot comes off the ground, that's when I tuck the toe and actually think about turning a little bit, but right now it's just linear to the middle, all right? So you feel that push-pull, so you're going to have full extension on the left leg while you're driving the, the right leg. Yeah, good. Yep. Good, Joe. You feel that stretch. The fence acts as a disc, and that's exactly what we're trying to do. Keep the disc back as long as